Look at this, everybody. I have never, ever seen anything like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight little cubs. Now, I just need to find out, are we live on Facebook? I just don't want to do the introduction too many times. Look at this. Hello, everybody who's just joined us on whatever platform you happen to be on. We've just come across the Black Rock Pride here. They're sitting with seven, it looks like, little cubs. They've just come out of the rocks over here. There are two lionesses, only one of them doing the feeding at the moment. My name's James Henry. We're going to sit with these cubs for a little while and see what happens. The other lioness is now coming up to help, I think, with a bit of the mothering. And I have never seen a collection of cubs this young and this numerous, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine of them. We're just going to let them get a little bit more comfortable with us, and then I'm going to move forward. She's just got up and called them out from the rocks where they were hiding. Now the other lioness is also calling a little bit. Here she comes. She's going to come past us now. I'm just going to talk quietly. Both lionesses obviously lactating. Both lionesses obviously hungry. Look at this little reunion that's going to take place between mother and child here. Look at this. Liz, you say amazing. Yes, it is just astonishing. I've been in the bush now for nigh on 10 and, well, nigh on 15 years. I've never seen nine little cubs like this. Is that not too gorgeous for words? Please send us your questions or comments like Liz was doing. You can do it in the comments section of whatever platform you're using. Folks, shall I just try and move around a bit there? Robin, I'm afraid I missed your question. I'm just going to nip around here. This is just absolutely astounding. Oh no, I have to agree with you, Robin. You say nothing more precious than lion cubs. There, I, I've never seen a scene like this. I'm really quite gobsmacked by it. Is that right, folk? We're just going to talk quite quietly. Obviously, the sound of the vehicle is much louder than the sound of my voice, but, of course, they have seen vehicles before. Now, I don't think that all of these nine cubs came from these two lionesses. There is another lioness of the Black Rock Pride, so named, of course, for the black rocks that you can see all around us. How old they are? I couldn't begin. Well, I'm telling. I could tell you that I think they are between. I would say whew, five weeks, maybe six, up to about two months. They've all given birth at much the same time. And what that speaks to is some kind of a pride takeover, where males came into the area, killed the cubs that were here, and then mated with these females at the same time. And that's created the situation with this enormous nursery of nine magnificent little lions. All right, I don't even know where to look here. You're looking at ones playing with sticks. I'm looking at some others having a play around some other sticks. There are some suckling. There are others just kind of lying about the place. But we've just arrived at exactly the most perfect time because I think they're going to start their evening playtime, which is just the best. This is just too magnificent. Now, in case you're wondering, we are in the Maasai Mara in, of course, Kenya, southwest Kenya. And the important thing to note here is that I'm not sure these lionesses have given birth quite at the right time. Uh, obviously, they can't control that. But the mass of the wildebeest migration has moved to the south. There is one biggish herd quite a long way to the north of us, and so these lionesses, while not, uh, certainly they're not bereft of uh, opportunities for prey, what they're going to do is just struggle a little bit more than they would have when the migration herds were here. But these cubs all look very healthy and very happy. Why wouldn't they? They live in one of the world's most beautiful places. Rita, you say they're eating the grass. No, I think they're just chewing it, Rita. I don't think they're eating it at all. 
I think they're just playing. I don't think they're, they're eating the grass. This is just beyond magic. You almost can't conceive of it. Alright, if you want to keep watching this everyone, just come to wildsafarilive.com. We're going to sit here for the whole afternoon. If something more astounding happens here, then absolutely we'll come back live on Facebook. So stay with us. Are we still on air with the normal safari group? Our loyal friends and followers. There you are. Hello, everybody. Still with us. Is this not very special indeed? Are you not so amazed by the things you are seeing here? A carpet of nine cubs stomping all over their mothers? And, well, well, obviously one of them, I think, is an aunt, unless, yeah, I mean, look, it's highly unlikely that one gave birth to five and one gave birth to four. And now nature's greatest sound starts, that of squabbling lion cubs. It's certainly one of my favorites. You know, I haven't had an experience like this. Well, I've never had an experience of nine little lion cubs like this. But my last cub experience that vaguely approached this was when the Inkuhumas, oh, it must have been 18 months ago, produced those three what I referred to as teddies. <laughs> we are so lucky here. Brent mentioned them, he said, look, go and have a look. I'm not, you know, he, he was pretty confident that we'd find them, but I, I didn't know. I've never been into this area, and here they are. Just so special. Now, to see nine little lion cubs like this is the same more than four weeks apart from more unusual and to have them almost completely to ourselves is utterly spectacularly privileged all righty we're going to hand you back over to juma now apparently hosana is stalking one of his most favorite meals in the world i'm assuming we still have about 12 seconds to go until we get there and so I hope that uh, Hosanna, while we wait with these cubs, uh, catches his monitor lizard.